Hello and welcome back to the channel or if you're new to the channel, hello, welcome here. What we're going to do today is we're going to take a little mini micro actually quadcopter that I like a lot, the uh, H8 and we're going to kind of uh, supercharge it using these uh, unicorn motors from Newbie Drone which are very high RPM. I can't remember what uh, RPM they are, but it's slightly ridiculous, and I will put it on the screen later on. And on top of uh, adding these crazy motors, we're also going to add a uh, all-in-one camera so we can FPV it, and uh, we're going to be adding a uh, AKK camera, which is very cool in that it uh, has some OSD features uh, showing the voltage that the camera is getting uh, through the OSD so this is uh, I'm hoping going to give us uh, a little H8 that we can call the uh, crazy 8 for uh, fun a uh, little H8 that we can fly kind of uh, at long distances because this camera goes to 200 milliwatts and uh, that will have the uh, punch to do so because the unicorn motors now the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to uh, take off the propellers, seeing as we're going to do some surgery. So using the prop tool, just popping these off. Props flying around. Okay, we've got our props off, and we'll take uh, a little screwdriver. Let's see what size. Screwdriver. There's a oops. Fair amount of screws in this uh, design. There's about three screws per arm that we need to remove. This is a great little uh, quad for anyone that's unfamiliar with it. It's uh, fairly cheap. It's uh, pretty zippy, and it's quite lightweight and. Uh, it flies very well outdoors, basically, because uh, it's not ducted like a lot of micro quads. So it's kind of a favorite of mine. Okay, so I think everything is pretty much loose. I got a few stragglers here, yeah, everything seems pretty good. Let's pull this whole thing off here and boosh. Now with the, uh, we've got all our motors kind of loose, connected to the flight board here. And you can see that uh, basically the top is uh, very lightweight, there's not much to it. We're going to be uh, altering the top later on to accommodate uh, the FPV camera. And uh, yeah, here's the, uh, the motors and the flight controller. Very kind of small, delicate design, kind of, uh, kind of cool. So what you can do uh, is go ahead and pull these motors out here. In order to get these motors out, uh, I think a little, uh, little screwdriver is going to be handy. Any kind of small screwdriver, we can kind of give them a, give them a little push out. Okay. There we are. On each of these motors is loose. That's very good. Right, so we have uh, basically the flight controller separated from the body with the motors ready to remove to replace with new motors. And the handy dandy pan device here. And put this thing in the pan device. Just putting it delicately in there. 
my soldering iron here. And heat it up. Okay, soldering iron, hot. Just dab a little bit of solder on here. Oh yeah, we got, we got smoke, we're rolling. Okay, so now with uh, the soldering iron uh, heated up, we will remove these motors one by one. Ooh. Grab each of the wires and just give it a little touch with the bush. Soldering iron, very easy. No. We have our flight controller with no motors, and what we're going to do is take the uh, the unicorn motors with the white and the black wires, and we're going to cut the wires kind of about the same uh, length as they are cut on the on the H8 motors. So uh, let's see what we got here. Looks like it's pretty close to the plug, maybe a little bit less off the ankle cutter here okay so we'll cut uh, cut the other wires the same uh, the other motors the same length now I'm gonna try to strip these tiny little wires they're very small so it might be a bit of a challenge but let's see uh, let's see how this goes Got my Little Zeus wire stripper here, and uh, try to get these guys a little strip. This is a little bit. The wires are a little too tiny for this guy, so I might have to just use my fingernails. Okay. Don't want to be too rough with these wires, but still want to get the job done. One more motor here to strip. Alright, so we got these little dogs stripped. And what we'll do is we will, taking note uh, that the back of the flight controller is where the battery port plugs in, we will take uh, one of the motors with the black and the white wire that the uh, when soldering the motors onto the flight controller, the negative is the one that's the kind of the closest end terminal, and then the, and then the positive is the is the one on the outside. So now we're gonna solder this on to the flight controller here. So again, the negative black one will go on the. Once we do the first motor on the front right, we'll get one of the motors with the blue and the red, and we will uh, solder that as well. We'll try to blast this on here, and this time it's the blue wire that is the negative. It's on the inside here. And the red on the outside. Okay, get another one of the red and the blue wires to uh, put on the back right. And the red on the outer terminal. Okay. Now taking the last motor on the back left black wire goes on the inner terminal. And the white 
on the outer terminal. Okay, now we've got our motors in place. Now what we're going to do is uh, take this out of the pan of ice. Take our top, probably cut the entire arms off. Okay, so I'm just going to go and uh, cut this case here with an X-Acto knife. Actually, rather than uh, just an X-Acto knife, I'm going to use a hot knife, a heated knife. That's a, that's a good way to do it. Okay, there you go, hot knife. Get hot for me. Okay, move this uh, vise here out of the way. Using some cardboard to uh, protect the stove as we cut. And I'm just going to cut these arms off here, basically below where the screw goes. Kind of close to the body, but uh, yeah. So just cut down here. That's an easy cut. One arm. going to cut these uh, arms again. Basically we're going to cut the top of it off, the, the, the kind of circle part off that kind of holds the motor in and we're going to use uh, tape or just friction to hold the mo motors in. But we're going to cut it in a way that leaves this hole here so we got to kind of cut it at an angle. So kind of like a uh, of uh, an angle like this. So we'll do that with each of these motors. Okay, one down here. We're losing our prop guards by doing this, but still going to be a great little, great little beast. So now we should be able to screw the uh, flight controller on there with these these arms here. One more arm. Okay, so I've got all the arms screwed in here and the rest of uh, the props on here. It's good to take note of the direction of the props before you take them off so you can remember. They're always uh, kind of uh, scooping inwards from the front and scooping inwards from the back with the, the way the air goes. So. Okay, so now with the uh, little micro quad back together, we can give it a quick test with some battery and uh, see if it uh, is working. Hopefully, there's a bit of juice in this battery. Okay, we've got lights on, that's a good sign. All right, I'm just uh, waiting for the batteries to charge to take this on a test flight, but. Uh, I think it's going to be fine, so uh, what I'm going to do in the meantime is uh, put the camera on this guy, the uh, little uh, all-in-one transmitter camera, which I'm kind of excited about because uh, I've yet to try this camera. I'm going to mount it in kind of a way that I don't usually mount cameras and mount it right on the front. See if this should work. Seems like it should clear the props okay. Yeah, this should be all right. Got a couple of uh, scrap strips of this double-sided adhesive that I uh, like to use. So, okay, so I'm putting it on the front with the switch for the VTX kind of uh, 
up and over the rim. Cool. Okay. Nice props clearing. Oh, this is going to be really neat. Take this cable that goes to a uh, little plug in for the power, and uh, on one end to, goes to the camera, and the other end uh, can go to a Molex battery. And I'm just going to chop the uh, chop the uh, Molex part off, and uh, and I'm going to keep it because uh, I might be able to use it as a battery lead or something. Because I think I'll have enough battery lead. <laughs> And I'm going to take uh, the wire stripper and uh, just strip the little uh, ends off of here so I can solder it to the flight controller. All right, so exposed wires. Okay. So yeah, the right side is the negative. And I know from past experience with this camera that it's essential to get the negative and the positive right powering this camera or you will get the magic smoke. Let's get the other side on here. Screw this, plug the camera in. Okay, yeah, I see. I put uh, the way I put the camera on is obscuring the light. At least it seems like the camera's on, so that's good. So now I can take it out for a little flight test. <laughs> 